All right, welcome to Strider Tree Gear. Today, I'm going to finally be reviewing the Edelrid uh, Tree Rex harness and with the suspenders. That doesn't, I think you can get them extra, it doesn't really come with it, but they are designed for this system. And I'm excited to talk about it. Been using it for the last couple of months, every day, all the time. And really, I'm gonna be comparing it to the other saddles that I've used, which are the, the Tree Motion Evo. I've used the, uh, the Cheryl's version of the Ergovation. Um, and with the monkey beaver saddle, because those are those are what I'm familiar with. This is another top of the line saddle in the same category as those. But as it comes from its mountain climbing roots, it's got a few uh, sort of key advantages, disadvantages that are related to that. So I'm excited to talk about that. And here we go. A couple of the key features to this thing that I, I really want to point out. I want to start with the clips. So this saddle is designed with lightness in mind. Lightness, efficiency, uh, it's, it's a good bit lighter weight than either of the other two saddles I mentioned or the other three, um, but it's still got all the features that they do in many ways. So these clips are pretty quick, pretty easy to get in and out. Some people don't like them. I didn't really like them as much at first, but once I got the hang of it, they're really not bad and they're very secure. I mean, it's just not going to pop out. And even if this did pop out, or like even if this got pushed, it has to be, it has to be f rotated in order to come free. So they're totally secure while still being very lightweight. I appreciate how there's no adjustment to, to strap this. That's just one less piece of weight, one less strap. It's got this nice little elastic band that keeps it where it needs to be around my around my thigh, and then it's got this Dyneema covered. A uh, piece of webbing here as the main support to add a little extra durability for this point, this wear point right here. Uh, and I like that. That's just really beautifully thought out. The, the lower D rings here are designed for a couple different configurations. Obviously, I've got this one set up with a double bridge. Um, there's other ways to route your bridge. They've got these two holes, so you can set it up with a single adjustable bridge. Right now, I've got it set up with one as adjustable so I can lengthen it out and one as fixed, I find I don't use that much at all. And when I do want to use it, I, I want it quite a bit farther than even this will adjust. If I want it something adjustable, like I'm using a, doing something more like with a hip thrust, then I actually really want it you know, farther out here. And it doesn't come with a long enough bridge for that, but I could make that. It's not much of a gripe, but I just find I don't use it that much. So generally I've got them together. Um, on the back side here, I love the support. It's quite rigid. Now, I find that I was, I've been hoping this edge would soften up a little bit. Like the tree motion, it comes with, the material around the back has quite a bit of structure, but the edges are fairly soft. And uh, my anticipation was that this, these edges would soften up with use, and they might still soften up a little bit more, but it's a little bit more rigid than, than uh, either the Monkey Beaver or the tree motion saddle. And so I find it to be not quite as comfortable, especially when I've got a heavy saw waiting because it digs in just a little bit here and just a little bit here. It hasn't been significant enough to cause any like real rubbing, uh, like, like rawness or, but, I, but it's a little bit more, it's something I notice. Whereas my tree motion, once I got it broken in, I wouldn't even notice that anymore, especially once I had the suspenders because the monkey beaver suspenders on that harness or on the tree motion would support right here and right here, just enough to where I didn't notice that weight quite as dramatically. It's kind of a small gripe, but it, it's fairly noticeable when I'm doing like crane work and I've got the big saw hanging on me, um, or otherwise just you know using a big saw in, in the tree. But I haven't had, like I said, I haven't had any real discomfort, any significant discomfort. It's just enough that it's irritating, just slightly. Other than that, I find this one's quite a bit more breathable than either saddle. You, you might be able to see, but right in here, there's some spots where it's mesh, right in, in between some of the, the webbing here, and that lets air into my back. I don't get real hot and sweaty back here like I do with the other saddles. So the breathability is fantastic. Um, the back support is fantastic. Again, because it's a little bit more rigid, it actually uh, has, it tends to keep me a little more erect, a little more uh, upright when I'm leaning hard back into my saddle. I like that a lot. 
And then the actual uh, shoulder suspenders are really comfortable. So once I'm wearing them, the way this padding works, the way it's mounted, this little strap here to keep it in place, super comfortable. But what I found is it's just not quite as supportive of the belt itself as say the monkey beaver suspenders or, um, I mean, those are the only ones I have to compare. Those are the ones I've used. I've got the monkey beaver suspenders on both my other saddles, just love them. But this one's got, it leaves something to be desired. The biggest issue I have with this, and this is probably the, the one significant downside on this whole harness, is how hard it is to get off and on. So these little attachment points, once you put them on, they're kind of annoying, so I don't ever take them off. They were super simple, lightweight, effective. I mean, I like the design, but in terms of getting it off and on, it's kind of a pain because the way this harness comes so high here, what I end up having to do is loosen up this strap in the back and then I have to pull the whole thing over my head like that. And I've gotten kind of the hang of it, <laughs> but, but it's definitely slower and, and not quite as easy as an intuitive as just throwing on the suspenders of the other saddles. Um, ah, it's a small gripe, but it, what ends up happening is I end up just wearing this thing for longer. I just won't even take it off when I go to take a break. Whereas my other harness, clip, 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 and I just drop it and I'm done. Um, and so I, I would tend to take it off, put it back on a little bit more frequently. It's a minor gripe, but if there was anything I would have changed, I would make this, I would put a couple little clips here so I could just unclip it and take it off. Uh, other than that, a couple other key features. So unlike the tree motion, this one comes set up for carry tools. It gives you a lot of options for accessories. I really like these little, very lightweight, but they're lined with something fairly rigid. I think there's some plastic in here. And so it lets them stick out. So in terms of no, uh, being able to use these without looking, it's awesome. It comes from that good uh, mountain climbing design. These little accessory webbing is super easy to use. And then these guys are for things like the Petzl carry tool or carry all, or the Rock Exotica transporter, which is what I really like. I just haven't been able to get one on here. Um, they're not quite as nice as like the monkey beaver where the, because of the webbing is so tight to the saddle, it, when I put one of these on, in that webbing on the other saddle, it doesn't move at all. This one's just a little bit more loose. And while it's not a big deal, it's just something I've noticed. Um, but there's lots of options for accessories. And much like the tree motion, it's got all these little webbing attachment points so you can customize it however you want as well. But you don't have to customize it for it to be fully functional. And that was probably my biggest gripe with the tree motion is it's a very bare saddle. Like if you want to make it useful for work, you got to spend more money. You got to add stuff to it. Whereas this, it's pretty much ready to go. Um, it doesn't come with the old school little clip for a saddle uh, or for your saw, because I think this is, you know, once again, it's those mountain climbing routes. Um, but so you do have to add something on this side or on your other side if you want to add a saw, but that's really the only accessory that's you need for production tree work. Aside from that, it's ready to go out of the box. I haven't used this middle attachment point much yet. I've heard some people love it. Um, I haven't been super happy with how small these little D-rings are. I know that's kind of a common complaint. What happens is when, when my uh, bridge is attached to something and I go to attach my lanyard to my lower D-rings like I usually do, I usually have to decide between whether I want to grab the rope and that or somehow fight with it to get in between and it's it's kind of hard it's just not it's just a little bit too small for me to grab naturally and easily every time it's it's fairly subtle it would only take the just ever so slightly bigger and it'd be perfect but as it is it's just a little bit too small to be super easy to use and the same is true for this one up here even though it sticks out um, a little bit which is nice if you happen to be working in an environment where uh, you pass your saddle to multiple guys, where not, it's not just one person wearing it all the time, not that I recommend that because I don't, but if that was the case, one nice thing about this particular saddle is that it's super easy to adjust. Um, it's got these little pull tabs on either side, and when you want to adjust the, the, the length of this one direction, then you 
you pull this tab to get it tighter, or you pull this one and it'll loosen up. But it never moves while I'm using it. So it's super easy. There's not a lot of excess material around anywhere. And, um, and I'm really happy with the way it adjusts and how simple and straightforward that is. So to summarize, it's really light. It's brilliantly well thought out. Um, it's compact. It's gonna be a great arborist pruning saddle, something when you're just doing a lot of monkeying around, much like the tree motion. It's perhaps not quite as suited for heavy production climbing where you've always got a big saw on. You know, it's a little bit of a compromise there. Um, and the D-rings are a little bit hard to grab uh, because they're small and light. Small and light, big and effective. I mean, it's, there's a compromise there somewhere. All in all, beautiful saddle, well-designed. I would highly recommend it. Is it gonna be better than the Tree Motion Monkey Beaver? I don't know, they're all, they're all on a very similar level. I think you'll find that, uh, you'll find that you'll love whichever one you end up getting is basically what I, what I expect. The, you'll make it suit your needs, you'll customize it to what you want, all of them are excellent. Um, I, would I would recommend any of them. So whatever you can get your hands on is, is what you should go for. Me, I will probably switch back to the tree motion at some point here, um, just because of how easy it is to get off and on. Uh, and the fact that it's a little bit more comfortable uh, in, in terms of flexibility and sitting at weird angles and having that saddle and having that heavy saw. And I'm using that heavy saw all the time. So that's a little bit of a long-winded review. I hope you find it useful. Um, thank you for joining me at Strider Tree Gear. And let me know if there's any other equipment or gear that you'd like to see. I'm happy to give you my opinion on it. And hope I'll catch you next time. Thanks.